G'day guys, my name is Jaden. welcome back to my channel. Big day today, we're at LA Airport. Today we're going to fly Virgin Australia all the way to Tokyo via Melbourne and Cairns. Virgin Australia does operate Adelaide to Cairns, however that is seasonal, it doesn't operate today so we have to have an extra stop at Melbourne Airport. So today collectively we'll take three Boeing 737 flights to Tokyo with the Cairns to Tokyo being a MAX 8. Now without further ado let's check in with Virgin. It's not even 4.30 here in Adelaide. I came early just to avoid the Uber morning rush. I've almost missed my flight before because there was no Uber. This early in the morning, the airport isn't hustling and bustling. Check-in for Virgin Australia is indeed open. The food court is open, including McDonald's. However, the Virgin Australia lounge doesn't open until 5. Same goes to the Qantas lounge. But waiting here is definitely better than waiting for your Uber, which might not arrive. The Virgin lounge opened its door 5am sharp. There was a long queue coming in, people could scan their boarding pass by themselves to gain entry. Then literally every person went straight to the barista coffee station. By the time I've put my order down, it was a bit too late. I had to wait 15 minutes for a long black. While I was waiting for my coffee, I enjoyed some chocolate croissant, baked beans and eggs. The Virgin Lounge in Adelaide is a great place to relax when it isn't busy, and today's the case. Now let's jump on board our first flight to Melbourne. Our flight is a 19-year-old Virgin Australia Boeing 737-800 Victor Hotel Victor Uniform Echo. I got Economy X all the way to Tokyo. My seat on this flight is 13 Delta. I gave up my regular window seat for this aisle extra legroom seat. It was definitely worth it. We just took off, a short flight to Melbourne, about an hour. The cabin crew served coffee, tea and water. I was slightly worried that I would miss my flight to Cairns because my connection time at Melbourne Airport is only half an hour. Thankfully we've caught up in time. We just made it to Melbourne Airport. Terminal 3 was full. That's the usual Virgin Australia domestic terminal. So our flight got assigned a gate in Terminal 4. Now I have to run to Terminal 3 for my flight to Cairns. By the time I got off my first flight, my second flight to Cairns is already boarding. Here's the second aircraft that'll bring us to Cairns, Victor Hotel, India Whiskey, Quebec. It's a former Silk Air and Singapore Airlines aircraft, and it features the all-new Virgin Australia interior, the same one you'll find on their 737 MAX 8 to Tokyo. <laughs> Another exit row, this time 13A. Guess what, I just received a Virgin Australia app notification. My bags didn't make it on this flight, so when I get to Cairns, I gotta ask the ground crew what to do. On March 1st, 2024, Qantas started flying the A220, and I've already done a trip report on one of the Qantas A220. But be sure to check it out on my channel. We're ready for takeoff, just waiting for this Virgin plane to land. This flight from Melbourne to Cairns is slightly longer, 3 hours, and just like the first flight, they're serving coffee, tea and water. I quite like the new seats on Virgin. Same leg room as the older one, but slightly more comfortable because it's more ergonomic. Plus, it's got a few more seat features like mobile phone holder and USB port. We just made it to Tropical Cairns. Now we're going to make our way to the International Terminal. So Domestic Terminal is Terminal 2, International is Terminal 1. They're two separate buildings but really close to each other. It's a short three minute walk outside. K 
Cairns Airport don't have a lot of international airlines, just Air New Zealand, Air New Guinea, Jetstar, Singapore Airlines and Virgin Australia. Cathay Pacific used to come here but not anymore. China Eastern has flights from Shanghai to Cairns seasonally. As you can tell from my hair, I slept really well just now. My bags aren't going to Japan so tonight we're going to shop at Uniqlo. The check-in hall is super empty. In the coming hours, there are only two flights departing from this terminal. A Jetstar flight to Osaka Kansai and our flight to Tokyo Haneda. So I just went to the check-in desk and asked about my suitcases. They said it will make it to Tokyo tomorrow, but I still need to file a report when I land into Tokyo for custom reasons. Security and immigration were a breeze, absolutely nobody in there. In the international air side, there aren't many things, just a few duty-free shops, two bookstores and two cafes. There aren't many charging outlets around the terminal, so I had to use my own power bank. Also, Virgin Australia doesn't operate a lounge at all at Cairns Airport, both domestic terminal and international terminal. Here's the Boeing 737 MAX 8 that will bring us all the way to Tokyo in under 8 hours. The rare joe for this plane, Victor Hotel, 8 India Charlie. The aircraft is just 6 months old. Okay. Mate, already got the tech, so we're good. Uh huh. Easy, Jaden. Fit well in the exit row. Yeah, of course. Have a great flight, alright? Thank you. Hello. Good. How are you? Good. Excellent. Welcome, Jaden. Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. The cabin crew on this flight are so charming, lovely, and beautiful. Our seat for this flight: 14 Foxtrot. Again, Economy X. Let me quickly show you the seat features on this Max 8 aircraft. So you've got literature holder on the top, mobile phone holder, there's a USB-A port, but sadly no USB-C or normal sockets. Every seat has a shiny little cut hook. Tray table can be moved back and forth but you can't fold it in half. <coughs> the seat pocket down there is netted so you can always see your content, which I like. We're at the exit row, so of course the leg room is ginormous. Each seat in economy and business has a comfortable headrest and great recline. Above you is a reading light and AC vent. The Max 8 has got bigger overlocker bins, happy passenger, happy cabin crew. Welcome back to our Unfortunately, on certain Virgin 737, including this one, they haven't installed the wireless entertainment, so you've got to bring your own Netflix and reading materials. We got Japanese speaking cabin crew on this flight, so announcements are in Japanese and English. Stories. Please press your call bell if you know the answer. To everyone who participated, once later on throughout the flight, I might have a few more questions. So uh, let's get going shortly. First officer Julian Sawyer. I'm working with a really wonderful team on board today. We do have two of our Japanese speakers on board. We have Azumi, Junko, Annie, and my name is Tim. We're chucking a Yui, then we'll take off for Tokyo.
recommend keeping your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight for your safety. Smoking, vaping, or the use of electronic cigarettes on board is prohibited, including inside the toilets, which have smoke detectors and alarm switches. If you do drop your device and it is out of reach, do not move your seat and ask a crew member for help. For our guests sitting in the main cabin, row 3 through to row 30, you will find two toilets at the rear of the aircraft for your convenience, with the forward toilet reserved for business class use. We do recommend utilising the toilets once the seatbelt sign has been switched off. You will find a menu in your seat pocket with food and beverages available for purchase. We accept physical credit card only for our onboard transactions, meaning no cash or electronic payments. Tea, coffee, water is always complimentary. Cabin crew will be distributing arrival documentation after the seatbelt sign has been switched off. It is a legal document and all questions must be answered truthfully. Please do note it is against regulations to consume your own duty-free alcohol on board. Please do ensure that duty-free drinks are placed in the overhead lockers for the duration of the flight. Our scheduled flight time this afternoon, 7 hours and 29 minutes. If there is anything that we can do to make your flight more comfortable, please do let us know. This flight is quite long, and due to payload restrictions, our flight isn't and it can't be full. It's about 70% full today. Once the seatbelt sign was switched off, I was able to move to an empty row, with the cabin manager's approval. I'm now at 16 DEF. On this flight, the cabin crew would conduct two meal services, coffee, tea and water complimentary. You'll have to pay for anything else. After two domestic flights, I need food. For hot meals, they're offering chicken rice or ravioli. I went for a combo, $24 for a meal and sparkling wine. The ravioli was absolutely tasty. It's really cheesy. So again on this flight, there are two meal services in which the cabin crew would come down the aisle with a trolley to offer anything on the menu. And also, it's pretty much dine on demand. You're more than welcome to order anything you want before and after the meal services. And because of that, the cabin crew are really busy on this flight. After that ravioli, I slept for a bit. When I woke up, I ordered a complimentary tea with milk and purchased a Kit Kat. About three hours before landing, the crew began the second meal service. I wasn't hungry, but I wanted food, so I went for the honey chicken rice. Thank you. Our cabin manager Din is a honey. My honey chicken rice is extra sweet. So between the ravioli and chicken rice, I prefer the ravioli slightly more, only because that was exceptionally good. That being said, I didn't regret trying the honey chicken rice at all. The instant cup noodle is a popular option on today's flight. It's $8 compared to $15 for the ravioli and chicken rice, hence the popularity. Welcome on board Virgin 737 MAX 8 Avatry Tour. So the blue mood lighting is supposed to go off the moment you lock the door, but somehow I guess it's broken. Um, it's cosy, in it? The blue mood lighting. A very tiny little space here. It's the new generation 737 lavatory, gotta get used to it. There's only really space for you to wash one hand at a time and when you do so, the water goes everywhere, splashes everywhere because of the pressure. And we got cook! Yay! As we're approaching Tokyo, it got dark outside and the cabin crew switched on the mood lighting. It's really beautiful. Throughout the flight, our gorgeous cabin crew kept offering us complimentary water. We've started our descent into Haneda Airport and I'll quickly conclude this trip report with Virgin Australia right here right now. And I'll primarily focus on this flight from Cairns to Tokyo. The Virgin Australia Max 8 is more comfortable than their traditional 737-800.
It's got bigger bins, quieter and more comfy seats, but undoubtedly, white body aircraft like Boeing 787 and A330 are still more comfortable. But after all, due to payload restriction, it means that almost everybody got an empty seat next to them. On this flight to Tokyo, we had four cabin crew. They were all so lovely and friendly. You always see them on the aisle and they always give you a smile. In economy class, food is not free. And although I made several purchases on this flight, it would still be cheaper than flying with Qantas or JL or ANA non-stop from Australia to Japan. And I was really happy with the food anyways. They were so delicious. Now for the airfare, between Cairns and Haneda return, you'll be looking to pay around $708. From Australia to Japan, Jetstar is cheaper, but that's completely low cost. So for Virgin Australia, not bad value at all. And in Tokyo, they use Haneda instead of Narita Airport. And everyone knows Haneda is a lot closer to the city. So that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment down below, and share this video with your friends. And most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I'm so glad you made it here. I upload a new drill report like this one every single week. So be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out again. This time I'm in Japan for three days and I've included a vlog after disembarking. So see you later in that vlog. Bye bye. Good evening everyone, we would like to welcome you to Tokyo Haneda International Airport. The local time is approaching 20 minutes to 8pm. That does mean we have landed 20 minutes ahead of schedule. So the next time that you do fly with us and we happen to be a little bit late, let's just call it even. The weather outside is 7 degrees. Stay seated with your seatbelt firmly fastened, keeping aisles and exits clear until the seatbelt sign has been switched off. Take this time now to check your seat pocket and area around your seat for personal belongings before disembarking. We will be disembarking through the forward door only directly into the aero bridge. Please do collect your belongings and make your way forward. If you need additional time to collect your bags, please allow other guests to disembark before you. We'll be refueling so smoking, vaping and using electronic cigarettes is prohibited on the aircraft and throughout the terminal. Handheld devices can be used with flight rates switched off. Mobile devices cannot be used in custom controlled areas. Arigato gozaimasu for choosing to fly with Virgin Australia. Please enjoy your time in Tokyo and the rest of Japan. Thank you so much. Good night and sayonara. あ、全のため飛行機が完全に停止し、シートベルト着用の際が消えますまでお座席にてお待ちください。通路及び非常口付近にはお手元、大きな内容をお願い申し上げます。飛行中お荷物が移動していることもございますので、頭上のロッカー
So we just took two stops, we're still within Yokohama, we did a late night onsen, what a great experience. And then we also had dinner at the same place. <laughs> Welcome to day two, we're having breakfast in the hotel. We just went to Uniqlo, this one downstairs, and I got some socks and jocks. So as for the baggage, it'll make it to Narita when I fly out tomorrow. So I don't see it until I get to my next destination, which is Seoul. We just went to the onsen again, and apparently it's a tradition to have milk after the onsen. Instead of milk, I went for milk chocolate. For afternoon tea, we came to this fancy Starbucks. We just walked to Shibuya, about a 20 minute walk from that Starbucks, for dinner. <laughs> I got some shopping done for my dad. Japanese yen is quite cheap at the moment, so therefore Australian products are cheaper in Japan than in Hong Kong or Australia. We had some champagne and a little bit to eat in the lounge before we went back to the room. I took a lovely bath. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna both go to Narita. My friend's flying to Hong Kong and then Brisbane. I'm flying to Seoul on the A380 overnight there. The following day, Asiana 747 to Taipei. Thank you very much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. A big shout out to all my patrons and PayPal Me members for your continued support to my channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. See you all again next week, bye bye.